101. We're waiting. Waiting for what? We are waiting to get on the River Barge Tour. Like um, this? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what we're waiting for. Yeah. We've been waiting probably for oh, 25 minutes or so. And it looks like we got, I don't know, we might be in the next one, I'm not sure. So we're getting close. 15, 30 more minutes. Maybe. Can't hurt somebody. <laughs> we're in line. Yep. About That's to get probably on. Our boat. Probably our boat right there. We're on the boat. You okay there? You want to get the tour? Make sure please do so quickly and return to your seat. National homes. They're not part of La Vida. La Vida means little village that was settled in the 1700s by Spanish soldiers and their families. It's now filled with shops, restaurants, artists, and the boats to go right to the middle of them. It's the best five seconds of a free show you'll ever get, I guarantee it. <laughs> now you can see a Santa Claus boat here to your left channel. A prominent businessmen wanted to fill in the U-shaped portion of the river and pave it over with concrete. But the San Antonio Conservation Society, which was created in 1925. <laughs> <laughs> Took him eight years to fix it. That time, Mayor Chambers endorsed the plans. He thought it was a great idea. In 1929, he's when the Great Depression hit. Then, 27 and 1929, it's a neo-Gothic architecture, 404 feet tall and open on June 1st, 1929. Look to the very top of the building on all the corners, you'll see some gargoyles. Those are working water spouts. When it rains, the water shoots out of their mouths and the gutters down below. Let's get three drops straight down, like a garage door, sometimes on its own. <laughs> Last time these floodgates were used for flood purposes was October of 1998. Oh, okay. Legend has it in 1921 when they had the great floods, these two small trees were uprooted from their spots, carried along with the floodwaters and slammed against the wall. They took root to a cracked out of the wall and enjoyed their air The largest tree house in Texas. You want to see the other half of that tree? Let's go inside this restaurant called Stefania de Lourdes del Rio. It is currently being renovated, so it's once again featured black and white silent films of Willard to Fight Oregon as it did in 1926. Anybody ever seen a black and white silent film of Willard to Fight Oregon before? Can't either, but I'm looking forward to it. Coming soon to a theater near me. Mary's Academy, then turned into St. Mary's Law School. 1966, two graduates at law school got together and bought the building. They added on to it, and opened up in 1968 as La Mansión de Rio Hotel. The very first clean air conditioned hospital in the United States. It's also the only hospital that I'm aware of that has a bar in front of the basement, often referred to as the recovery room. You may remember Carol Burnett. Carol Burnett was born in the Knicks Hospital. She's also a country singer. If you're trying to get to the Alamo, all you have to do is go through the Hyatt, follow the little waterway, and up the steps, you find yourself across the street from the Alamo. Now, Albert Walk here is called the River Square, where you'll find most of your restaurants. But if you do get hungry, you remember the River Square area because it does have a great variety of food. It has Italian, Mexican, American, Mexican, Southwest American, Mexican, Cajun, Mexican, you know, they did the construction of the River Walk. People were scared of the flood. So he had his office placed down here to prove that it was safe. It's a good thing he did, because five years later, to your right hand side, opened up Casa Rio Restaurant. Established in 1946, one of the oldest businesses on the River Walk. Casa Rio Restaurant was the very first business to offer rivers like dining. Built in 1968 to accommodate the people for hemisphere. Look at the Guinness Book World Records, you'll find it in there for being the fastest constructed modular oh, hotel of its yeah. time. It was constructed in a record setting 202 days by the H.P. Zachary Construction Company. While the first four floors of the elevator shaft are being constructed, they mouse out to hear the rooms have been built on an assembly line stock. Natural flow, they needed a way to create oxygen for the fish. So what did they do? They made a waterfall. Yeah, coming up to your right hand side. Also, a great place to stand in front of and take pictures. Yeah. Oh, the name Henry Bingham. Oh, oh, oh. That's the Henry Bingham's Honor Convention Center. Named in honor of Henry Bingham's Honor because he's the very first Hispanic American elected to the House of Representatives in 1961. The convention center was renovated and now has one million square feet of convention space, making it one of the most modern and most spacious conventions. He served three terms in the 1980s and 1990s and she is still involved with city politics. As a matter of fact, Lila Cockrell was huge and responsible for expanding the Riverwalk a mile and a half to go to the Pearl Murray. That mile and a half to Riverwalk that opened on May 30th, 2009. If you want to go eat at the restaurant that rotates hourly, just tell the elevator operator you want to go eat at the restaurant and they will.